So for you guys out there, if you want to know how to use the Inspire and get really cinematic motion, this is how you do it. You don't need a second operator. Well, you don't need a second operator that needs to know how to control a camera or how to control a drone. All they need to know is how to control their index finger. Whoa. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. Yeah, the index finger. I'm going to poke an eye out of that. Yeah, be careful. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> why do I say that? Well, there's this... I call it a glitch, call it a hack, whatever you want to call it. If you open up the DJI Go app on your iPad, on your tablet, whatever you're using, and you take the drone off, take the drone off, fly to where you want, uh, you can let the drone be stationary, you can put the drone in attitude mode and just let it float around if you know your surroundings. You know, and it, a spotter is very key and important when you're doing these type of shots. I just want to say that right away. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, put the drone up. And you'll notice if you've ever used the Osmo that you can tap on the screen, hold your tap, so you're not tapping and letting go, you're tapping and holding, and you'll see a blue circle appear on screen. Now if you move your finger right and down, you'll notice that you can get these really nice, smooth, slow reveals up and down, mm -hmm. side to side, panning, tilting, rotating, whatever you want to call it, um, in any direction, 360 degree, fully controllable. It is a beautiful thing, and the only you can do this yourself. And there are some conditions, Rob, where I love to do this on my own, even if there isn't someone else there. Uh, windy conditions, where I mean, it's so windy, where you know I have to get the shots no matter what, and I'm really not happy with how intense the wind is, but I got to do it anyway. So I'll take off, and here, I'm about to show you an example. I took off recently out of the back of my truck and was you know going on this ranch and flying this ranch, and it was a 30 mile an hour wind with like 40 mile an hour gusts mm -hmm. and no matter what you do you're not going to get smooth motion just because you're getting tossed around so much in the right. wind so i put her in attitude mode i'm floating in the wind so and you I, moved over to the side i flew into take, the wind right, mm -hmm. and yeah. it would carry you the way you want to go yes so mm -hmm. i flew into the wind and now i'm being carried by the wind in attitude mode which is by the way quite fast and i just used the app to tap hold and rotate and I got these beautiful motions cool. that I normally wouldn't be able to get in those conditions. Uh, now you can do this with another person if you if you train them, but I have found this little hack to be extremely useful on my video shoots. Right. I will say, because we, we played with this a little bit before we started the podcast, and it'll take a little getting used to in terms of matching the finger movement to the movement of the camera. It's not that big of a deal, but work with it a little bit to get used to that Definitely. That sinking, so to speak. You know what's really cool on the new Ronin MX, which we have to get here to drone you. Um, sorry, did I say that out loud? Um, <laughs> you, can, and... you can do the same thing on the Ronin MX, and that singular feature is why I would want a Ronin MX over any other gimbal. Hmm. Seriously. Cool. All right. So, but yeah, I may, we may list. not actually get that because as long as we get the X5 and the Osmo, we can do the same thing. Yeah. So whatever. We'll probably go that route. Yeah, it's only 1500 bucks, right? Piece of cake. No big deal. <laughs>